Praise the Lord. Today we are going to talk about uh, heroes because uh, today is uh, 9th June and uh, Uganda celebrates Heroes Day. 27 men picked up 27 guns and went to the bush and uh, fought a war that uh, brought in the current government. And you can see that uh, they must have faith, must have had faith in those guns. They must have had faith in their leaders who were leading them. And when you look at it, it was a formidable challenge. Similarly, in the Bible, in Scripture, we have the heroes of faith. Hebrews 11, 8, 12 talks about heroes of faith like Abraham, like Isaac, like Jacob, like Sarah. It says, by faith, Abraham. By faith, Sarah. By faith, they did this thing by faith. And to become a hero, you must have faith. Faith in something. And we have heroes all over the world in different areas of life. I guess sports is one of those. We have heroes. We have, uh, you know, Usain Bolt in 100 meters. We have Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson in boxing. We have Messi, Ronaldo, Maradona, Pele. Those are heroes for many, many people in the different areas. We have heroes in politics. You know, the Kennedy family. We have William Wilberforce, abolished slavery, Martin Luther King, fought for civil rights, Nelson Mandela, ended the apartheid in South Africa, Mahatma Gandhi, many, many, many heroes in different areas. The th common thing about heroism is you must have faith in the thing that you're pa pursuing. You must have faith in humanity. You must have faith in your abilities. You must have faith. For us, in Christianity, our faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's based on the fact that uh, he died, he rose again. We may not physically see him, touch him, as many people will demand. Show me God, show me Jesus, and all. And we know Thomas in the Bible said, I cannot believe until I have touched, I have seen, and the Lord obliged and appeared before him. But we have clouds of witnesses, heroes who went before us, whom we can uh, look at, and rely upon that uh, these heroes had faith, and it is because of that faith that we are here. It is because of our hero, the superhero, our Lord Jesus Christ, that we are able to even be here and talk about Christianity. If Jesus had not died, if Jesus had not risen from the dead, if Abraham had not obeyed God and gone to a land that was not known to him, and now he has a multitude of descendants, as the Bible says, like stars in the heaven and like sands on the shores of the sea. If those people had not done what they did by faith, we all would not be here talking about the gospel of Christ, talking about resurrection, talking about Christianity. But because they had faith, we can uh, treat them as heroes and we can also have something to base on. I would like to uh, encourage you, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ yet, but you have heroes in this world, heroes in sports arena, heroes in politics, heroes in all fields of life. And I encourage each of you to have heroes in your area of, of uh, specialization, in uh, your area of study. In the law, we have heroes, many, many, many heroes. One of my heroes is uh, the first black person on the U.S. Supreme Court called Thagud Marshall. He's our hero because he transcended so many hurdles, so many challenges, and became a lawyer as a black person, and then went on to become the first black person in the U.S. Supreme Court. He's a hero. We have uh, somebody called Lord Denning, a uh, British uh, jurist and, uh, you know, a uh, judge. We all quote him. Everybody wants to be like Lord Denning. He's our hero. I don't know what your area is of specialization, of life, but you must have a hero so that uh, you move ahead in your profession. I was listening to a song by Lucky Dube, the late, and uh, he talks about uh, uh, God bless the women. And he says women are the unsung heroes. They wake up at night, look at the children, look after them, pray for them, and nobody recognizes as heroes. Women in our lives are heroes, our mothers, our sisters. They do a lot of things that uh, they are not so to be a hero, you don't have to be recognized by the public. But I'm sure there is that one person, there is that one group who will look up to you and treat you as their hero. So please continue doing what you're doing. 
Look at somebody who is your hero and aim to be like them. In Christianity, Jesus Christ, as I said, is our hero. We need to look at him. We need to believe in him. We need to emulate him. Personally, I would not be here talking to you if it wasn't for the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember I walked into Kampala Baptist Church as a first year law student. The only person I knew in that church is the person who had invited me. He said, come, I think you will like this church and uh, it will fit with your, 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 your requirements at this point in time. And I went in. Two Sundays ago, we were dedicating my grandchild. And I could see from that time when I was at the university in 1985 to now, I knew more than half the people in that church. I had a family, wife and children, and now a grandchild. And it is all because I took a step of faith, walked into that church, believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, declared him my hero, and said, I want to follow you. I took a step of faith. And because of that, the Lord has taken good care of me, has widened my family, not just the biological one, but the Christian family. And I'm able to testify on his behalf. Do you have heroes in your life? Do you want to be a hero? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the superhero. And you also will be a hero to somebody. May God bless you.